hard though. Yeah, Even the sauce yeah, doesn't yeah, make it better. Look or, or, it. or too much uh, easily uh, look fucking past. breading. Too much breading is the worst. That's if it's you're mostly just, breading, not enough chicken. That's like a, you're just chewing on it, fucking like nuggets of cement. Sounds good to me. Nuggets of cement. <laughs> Chip that a tooth. Not that that's ever happened. Chip your tooth off uh, for chicken tender. Yeah, I've never had a bad chicken tender. <laughs> never had a bad chicken tender. I don't believe you. Uh, <laughs> hey, welcome to the new episode of Peaked. It's good to be back. Hey, I was on the road for two weeks. Crazy, right? I know. I, I thought it was wild, too. Uh, JP was also <laughs> on the road. It's good to have you back. No, weren't you in the Bay Area? Didn't do, oh, yeah, no, I was. <laughs> hey, see? See? He does stuff, too. Uh, today's guest, uh, I'm excited to finally have on video. Nice round of applause for my good comrade in arms. John Capetta. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. It's good nice to, to be here. I actually, I'm glad to see you're wearing real clothes today. So maybe the video will actually make it this time. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not in the fucking I don't know. Turkey I, outfit. I feel like that would have been good for views. I, it would have been good for that views. It disappeared. Sumo would have been so excited. Frank dresses like my little brother, dude. I do. <laughs> Everywhere <laughs> we go. So I'm uh, always in pants. Always have shoes on. No, nah, man. Socks Frank's and always sandals got slides and slides, on. bro. Now. It's <laughs> like if I don't have to wear them, I, I if I don't have to put pants on, I will not put pants on. Now that I'm in this part of my life. That's the, my 33s. Um, <laughs> That's how I feel about sweatpants. Like, I'm not like, also, uh, you guys, I guess, are in a hotter part of town. But like in Marina, like it's it stays cool. So like, like over the weekend, it got a little bit chilly. And I was like, oh, I could put sweats on now. Like, fucking love that, bro. Hell yeah. I got excited when I went to the Bay and I was like, I could bring a hoodie. <laughs> yeah. <Holy> shit. <laughs> Have you packed for Hall of Flowers yet? No, but I'm excited. I cannot wait. That's going to be, uh, to what's it called? You got a couple long sleeves to break out. <laughs> right, yeah, dude, right. It's been a while. My cool clothes can come out again. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Are you gonna come out? I don't know what is. I think it's I next think, Wednesday, Thursday. Not this one, but the week after. I think uh, my wife's sister's uh, getting married, uh, so I have to <laughs> on a Wednesday and Thursday. No, I think there's like a. I think well, I think it's like we're all going to Disneyland, and then like we're doing <laughs> another thing, and then it's like the wedding stuff, and then like and then I can be free. So Wednesday is Disneyland day. <laughs> I think Wednesday is Disneyland day. I feel like October sixth is a day to go Disney. Very yeah, important, no, it's definitely the best time. number. And it's like all Halloween out right now. Like it's yeah. perfect. Yeah, Bring I'm, some mushies for a good ass time. Oh, uh, let's get into a little pregame, and then uh, I can Salute. tell you about the weekend and what you missed at the store. <laughs> it was Ti's birthday at the comedy store this weekend. Oh, Ti, yeah, like the, yeah, like the comedian rapper Ti. <laughs> he's a he's a comedian now. Yes, he is. That's cool. Yes, he was is. he funny? Oh, should we not say that because he was at the store? It Let's was his birthday. Was, uh, was <laughs> it was definitely his birthday. <laughs> he was a nice guy. Still needs some more. When he walked by, I was like, uh, "Happy birthday, Mr. Ti!" He was like, "No doubt, dog." You know, it was so love funny. respect, much respect. But uh, so, did you call him Mr. Ti? I did not call no. him Mr. Ti. A friend of ours <laughs> called him Mr. Ti. <laughs> he was like, "Happy birthday, Mr. Ti!" He, he goes, "Happy birthday, sir!" Yeah, and then another <laughs> friend that couldn't handle it. That we brought awesome. Mason, uh, Masonic Edgar, and. Uh, uh, he was uh, he was there chilling, and uh, he Got was so funny. Yeah, he walks up and he just goes, he goes, uh, "What do you say?" And the first thing that comes out of his mouth is like, "I saw you in traffic once." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "That is that is, that is it." <laughs> so great. <laughs> and then the funniest part was, so they showed up early and they were hanging out, which is cool. We're all smoking weed and chilling, but there was no bartender in the back, so they couldn't serve drinks. <laughs> so. Um, when the show finally uh, cleared out and started, you know, they were like, uh, the manager comes in the back and goes, hey, if you guys don't want to go to the green room, there's a server now. They can take your drink orders and stuff. And he was like, all right, no doubt. <clears throat> and he walks, he, his room's full of 40 people. He's got his DJ on the Bluetooth. And uh, he walks in the middle of the room and he just goes, hey, and does this with his finger. And he goes, uh, relocate. And then everyone stops what they're doing and then starts to leave. And like the DJ's also like walking out and like everyone just empties and it's just us in this back bar. And have, you can hear the whole crowd start to like go further and further away. And then like you can hear the dude's Bluetooth start to disconnect. <laughs> so the music's like playing and then it's like, ah, 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 and then just Bluetooth disconnected. And we just all like sat there in silence. And then it was like, happy birthday, T.I. <laughs> T.I. has left the building. That's it star was, power, man. Bro, it was so it was fucking fun. funny. So the Being whole, able to command a room of people, just like, not. Nah, I hope you weren't comfortable because we're moving now. Dude, the whole night, the whole time I was just sitting there going, relocate. Like, oh, so great. <laughs> it's my new favorite thing. I'm going to try and do that one day. 
Scream at a bunch of people to relocate? Yeah, yeah just, let's just see if we could just move a whole room. Do it a hall, I bet you could. Let's see. It's like a sesh of people. Everyone's sitting down like high as you fuck, and you're like... You can't do that with stoners. <laughs> no, 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 but that's actually, that's why I think it'll be funnier because I think that the stoners will just kind of like not know why, like assume a cop is coming or something like that. Like, okay. we got to go to the smaller back room. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I think it's got to be a real sense of urgency because I feel like stone, like, especially if I'm like high and I'm sitting down, so I was like, we got to move. I'm like, all right, well, how fast do we have to move? <laughs> what's so if coming? somebody said it just the way you just said that, I would immediately be like, what's going on like where do we gotta go where, like you know i'm like can i hide under the table <laughs> Is that Flash. <laughs> everyone's like we gotta move and me i'm just like we gotta hide we gotta, <laughs> we gotta, we gotta be small like a rock <laughs> we gotta hide uh, i guess we know what your fight or flight response is yeah it's fucking sit down <laughs> my under something flight, preferably my yeah. fight or flight is get under a table <laughs> Uh, Hannah or uh, Hannah, when uh, she was in like college, um, they talk about that. There's actually three responses. That's four. There's three responses. That's it's a uh, fight, flight, and then the third one's like a uh, shut down, cower in a ball. Yeah, yeah. So the third one's like just like the you know, the, the, the absence of flight or flight. It's when. That actually sounds like what you just suggested. Yeah, yeah. When both <laughs> of the things happen at the same time, and you can't decide, so you just like like some you just pass out. It's like dissociate completely. Yeah, yeah, you're just like, like separate. Uh, uh, so you're, you're disassociate, but add in a table. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> disassociate under a table. Uh, oh, dude. Oh, my God. We should have stopped getting high before we got here. What uh, did we just smoke? That was delicious. Uh, some, uh, we're going to smoke in the first round also, but the oh, PB yeah, souffle. Oh, yeah, get into the first round. So, PB souffle. Uh, it's one of my, it's honestly, it's getting me right back into to do si -do. Like, every time I smoke this, I'm asking all the homies, hey, you got any do si -do? Um, Just because it's that classic OG KB um, face off, just like OG Kush taste. And it just kind of fills your mouth. Kind of sticks around and lingers um and like i said smoking this one it's also incredibly uh strong like after the first dab you kind of notice you'll you'll kind of like start to sit in your chair a little bit space out just a little bit too. yeah <laughs> that's a little kick but it was like i used to come down um down to like tlc from the bay area to pick up dosi dough back in the day when they had it and i like completely forgot my love for it where are you uh, from then, i'm from the bay area like, like the peninsula san mateo where, where? yeah yeah um, like 20 minutes south of San Francisco. So you were bred into this weed shit. Yeah. It's kind of, it was also, I found out recently that uh, my uncle used to sell weed to one of the homies, Josh from Natura, back in high school. Oh, shit. Yeah. And so it was like, this <laughs> is a fucking really small funny. world. Yeah, dude, it's a trip. It's like, oh, no, I definitely was meant for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's yeah. just weird. Of all people, too, Josh, like, <laughs> doesn't have a small business. Yeah. And he was yeah. also like, he was like, it, was all, it wasn't just like, oh, I bought some weed. He was like, yeah, your uncle sold me one of my first bags of Chronic. And I was like, no fucking way, dude. Like, <laughs> And then so the turtle was born. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was, was like, your dad's cool. my apple. <laughs> <laughs> it was rad, man. That was also one of the first times I ever realized, like, oh, shit, my uncle was smoking weed, like, my whole life was... Uh, I like opened my car one day after hotboxing, uh, like for a night or whatever, and it was the mix of the air freshener that was like the hanging tree and the weed in there. I was like, holy shit, that was my uncle's room growing up. So like, I had that same moment at a Grateful Dead concert. Like when I was like, it was the first dead show that I remember going to. My whole family is deadheads. But I remember getting there and like smelling like in the crowd and being like, this is what Ivan's, sorry, this is what my uncle's garage smells like. You know what I mean? I also have an uncle story. Uh, <laughs> we all got that guy. Yeah. The no, best, I remember dude. there was an uncle who was, uh, he was my, my cousin's dad. He loved fishing, all this stuff. We just never connected growing up. Nothing in common, right? He would always try to have conversations. He'd always try talking about what I liked and what he liked. And we just never clicked. And it his, Until you started liking stoner shit? His fucking bathroom always smelled weird. And then I smoked weed once. And then I was like, oh, this was what my uncle's fucking bed bathroom smelled like. And it wasn't until I was finally older that I was like, now that we smoke weed, like we can hang out and like I get him high. I got him. A, I gave him one of those rockets from punch mm -hmm. we had it at the wedding oh was, man yeah, dude. <laughs> dude bro we got I, got I was like i brought this for you he was like well i don't want to smoke it if you smoke it with me i was like of course he took like four big puffs and then he was like i'm good man and then like i just remember chilling at my table hanging out and then i look back exactly where i left him he was standing by his table and he was just chilling there with a smile just staring at just the dance floor <laughs> mission accomplished and just like he didn't move at all for like an hour and a half he just stood there just <laughs> i just 
<laughs> smiling. That's the fun part it. about the industry now is like going back and showing like, uh, I guess the easiest way to say it, the OGs, like where the game is now is so funny because like even like definitely my uncles, but like, you know, a lot of my relatives and even my older cousins, like the kids that got me into smoking weed, right? Like going and showing them the type of shit that I get now. Like I, I remember, and this is, it's funny because the gold papers I feel like are so uh, polarizing. Like the first couple of times I smoked them, like, Fuck yeah, because, you know, they're fucking gold. But now I'm like, I, I don't need to smoke the gold papers anymore. You know what I mean? But someone gave me like this big, giant, like gold wrapped Kanagar. And like, I remember bringing it home and like showing my dad. And then we were like, this, this is, how much does this thing cost? You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like being like, I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. sent to me. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just fun. Let's smoke it, you know? I had that moment, like, it was uh, Mike uh, Young. He was at the store. And we were in the back at the Puffco and you we know, were just smoking hash. And then he walked back and he was like, what are you guys smoking? And I was like, it was weed. And he was like, is that an electric bong? And I was like, no, we're just smoking hash. And he was like, man, back in my day, it was like, you know, you lit it under a cup and then you inhaled and all this shit. Fucking and I was like, hits. I, was yeah, like dude. I told him, I was like, well, listen, old man, shit's in the future now. And I showed him all this and he was like, oh, this is crazy. Like, yeah. yeah. My dad knew about hot knives and then I showed him the dip devices. And that was like, uh, whoa. This is yeah. the game has changed, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. It's fun watching my dad see shit too, because he's like, This is crazy. I just remember when it was like a small little joint. Now you know. Now you're giving him a three point five. Yeah. Like, this is all for you, Pop. <laughs> Try this gummy. I'm trying I've been trying very hard to like work weed into the rest of my family's routines and reg mm -hmm. regimes regimens whatever the fuck the word is you know what i'm talking about oh now it's part um, of people's sleep routines it's great well so my mom's friends just started taking like micro dose things and i she's gonna be so pissed at me but um <laughs> my mom hasn't consumed in like three decades probably because uh one of her brothers gave her a uh, brownie one time and like back in the day in like the 90s when like you know edibles were rough and uh, she completely freaked out. Like, yeah, my dad loves to tell the story because he had to like they were at a restaurant that she loved and he had to like take her out through the kitchen. <laughs> like, <it was> like, <laughs> like she's, she's mortified forever. Like, I don't like know she was the fucking president the getting assassinated. <laughs> yeah, exactly. they had to fucking run through the back of a car that was running. And <laughs> so now her friends are at a place where they're like, they want to drink the cans. You know what I mean? Oh, they're like, have a 2.5 like, yeah. edible. So like part of me is like, all right, like. I, I want I want to go rock these women's world. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I could tell you this, and I don't want to put anyone's spot on blast, but um, when I was in uh, Houston, it was the same kind of situation where we I had in the Carolinas where I was like, you know, what are we going to do for weed, all this shit? And um, one of the guys that I was with was just kind of like, oh, no, there's like underground spots that you could go to. And I went to one, and it was fucking – sick it looked like the smaller version of like a california shop okay. but they had drinkables and those are like a little more popular now my friend was telling me out there he likes the drinkables but it was just so wild to see and they was like yeah it was like it's he was like it's only a matter of time before uh it's going to be legal down there that's what they say so interesting but the vape pens are felonies still. well yeah so, so two things one i i thought after oklahoma flips that like texas was going to be right behind it like no yeah. way they were going to let the same way i didn't think that the united states was going to let canada go federally legal and like start exporting and like not take some of that money i thought for sure texas was going to obviously neither of those things happened um but um when I first got to California, one of the first things that I was like really excited about were drinkables too. And yeah. like, I think that like, I probably spent 25 bucks on something that didn't really get me high enough times where I was like, you know, fuck this. But like, I don't think, like, I really believe in tinctures. You know what I mean? Like, I think in, in terms of like medical products, like that is the way we joke about like edibles and stuff like that. But like, you don't give a cancer patient a gummy. You no. know what I mean? Like, that's not like, that's not <laughs> what they're made for, you know? Also, like, I, I kind of believe that, like, we've done gummies and cookies and chocolates yeah. every way that you can. Even on, in mushrooms now, I'm mm -hmm. fucking bored of <laughs> mushroom chocolate. You know what I mean? Like, let's get a little bit more creative with it. Put it on the pizza. The tinctures and drinks, like, that to me is where, like, people can get a little bit more. And actually, when Lagunitas came out and they were doing, started doing the hi-fi hops, that was, I did believe that was going to be, like, a watershed moment that people were going to start, like, you know, whatever. Because the idea, and cans model too, but the idea of, like, you should be drinking little by little so that, like, like beer, you can get more intoxicated throughout the night I think there's logic to that I just think that like we're trying too much to put weed into the alcohol box you know what yeah. I mean like 
honestly, I, I agree that like places like consumption lounges and bars for weed should exist. But like, I don't know that they necessarily need to be a cafe. You know no. what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't know that they necessarily need food. I would much rather go and like go to a nice ass movie theater with you guys. And like, maybe it's maybe it has dining or something like that. But imagine we could sit in those comfy ass couches. There's have an, an option. Yeah. And there's an ashtray between each of us. And like this way at the end of, you know, the movie or whatever, like, you know, to get the fuck out. You know what I mean? And like, it has a natural flow to it. But like, also like, you don't have to have someone running down like, oh, you want another drink? You want another like whatever? Like, no, I, I'm stoned. Like, I would like. Yeah to not deal with you right now. You know what I mean? I don't want to take out a credit card. (laughs) I got to do math now. Yeah, exactly. And then you're going to ask for a tip. I'm like, that means I got to do math to get there. Like that, that's a several step process. I just don't want to get into. Yeah. But movie theaters, I don't know why we haven't seen movie theaters yet. Yeah. Especially drink. It's like, I like having the seltzers, uh, those Uncle Arnie's are nice too because they do Those like. Those are fantastic. I like something that'll get me there. You know what yeah. I mean? Because sometimes I just walk in. Wanna... I think nano, like nano infusion, like changed the drink game. I uh, just because it made it like more bioavailable and like I'll drink an Arnie's compared to like eat 100 milligrams of something else and be like, oh shit, hello. Well, that's that's what I mean. Like I think that there's, we haven't gotten the value conversation in, ca- in recreational cannabis yet, but like I think that there's a big reckoning that needs to be had with edibles. And like, listen, for me, I don't really have an edible tolerance. So not even me specifically, but like I know. Yeah, people, you're fucking weird. Yeah, no, no. I, I'm, have you, I'm have you talked about it? I, I mean, probably, but I don't know. We could talk about it. Um, yeah, well, you just briefly mentioned it. I'm a, uh, I'm, I just don't have a tolerance for edibles. I don't know if it's because I've smoked weed for so long or whatever. The, the doctors have told me it's my metabolism. I don't know. I, my metabolism doesn't seem to work other ways, but whatever. Um, but I just, I've eaten 6,000 milligrams with like a group of people who've each eaten a couple hundred and like they were all passed out and I was like taking pictures with them, like sleeping, like, yeah. Um, <laughs> Insane. Weed's my superpower, bro. Um, but I think that like for a lot of people, like they say a hundred milligrams and they just believe that it's a hundred milligrams because they're going to get fucked up. Right. Yeah, yeah. But like Arnie's is the first one that I've seen that like really like when they say hundred milligrams, I know whoever I give this to is getting rocked. You know what I yeah, mean? Man. And I don't want to, I don't want to say they have more in it or anything like that. I just mean like, I don't know that everyone else that says that they're a hundred is actually a hundred. You, know? you, you said that in conversation with another comic when you're giving them those hash edibles. You oh yeah. Like, yeah. The true, like, the true yeah, 15. Yeah. There's a true 15 and you know, he ate multiple of them, and then he really felt that true 15. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite comedy store memories, bro. I was actually, it was my fuck up, because he ate like three before, and then he asked how many are in, how many milligrams of these, and I was like, oh, my bad, they're 15. But then he ate a bunch more. So, yeah. then, then so he was like, ready. he thought he ate 15, and then you were like, no, it's 45. He was like, oh, all right, I'll take more. And then he <laughs> ate another 45 more. And that was funny, too, because he was just like, uh, he was like, was I good last night? Everyone just kept asking me if I was okay. I was like, yeah, man, you kept falling asleep at the bar. (laughs) You were just really stoned. You were like stoned and like we were kind of buzzed. And I get that way, too. That's how it was last night. It was like, you know, we're surrounded by everybody. And uh, you went there. But uh, I I don't know if I told you, Sarah was there and like Kim was like her birthday. And uh, they're all like, you know, having fun, getting drunk. And I was like, listen, ladies, I get it. You're all single. You're hot. But I'm married and I have snacks at home, so I got to get out of here. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, congratulations, but I've got Uncrustables at my cats, so I got to get the fuck out of here. There's also a so certain sleepy. time of night, and like I realized this, like most apparently, when I was in Chicago for the Benzinga thing. So to begin with, I was with a bunch of people that like I'm not used to being around. Like they're all suits and like money guys, and like you know I hang out with culture kids, right? Like we we get fucked up. Um, these guys get fucked up, but then they get fucked up and go into horny mode, right? Where, like, whatever woman is around, they start, like, whatever. So it was really funny to, like, see these guys who, like, I know control tens of millions of dollars or whatever, get just, like, totally shut down by, like, these, like, very mediocre women. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, it's one of those things where I'm just, like, I feel for the women because, like, I know that they don't want that happening. But also, like, I feel for dude. Like, you are embarrassing yourself everywhere in front of all of these professional relationships you know what i mean so i realized that like i don't really need to be out past 11 12 o'clock nothing you know good I mean? ever happens after three o'clock in the morning <laughs> right it's much later than 11 or 12 <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just you added the second show yeah. onto yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah i think yeah. isn't three like the witching hour so i mean yeah, one o'clock in the morning show. yeah no after like one something you're just like yeah i gotta get the fuck out of here otherwise like Someone's going to ruin their life. Yeah, exactly. And I don't need to be a party to that. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't I, need to be an accessory. <laughs> I don't even mean an accessory. Like, I don't want to, like, 
the problem is, especially now with where I'm at with high times, like people just assume that I know the shit that's going on. Right. So like whenever anybody has a question, they'll just hit me up like, yo, what's going on with such and such? You know what I mean? Like it's really it feels really good to wake up after like a night of like sleeping for a long time. And so I'd be like, yo, what happened at where? I'd be like, I have no idea. I just woke up. Yeah. You know what, what? I mean? Like, you tell me. And then yeah, yeah. getting actually that happened this morning with a brand that I really like over something that was completely stupid. I woke up to like five texts about it. And like, I finally realized what it was. And I texted every single one of those people. I was like, you are not allowed to text me this stupid bullshit before 11 a.m. anymore. This is completely fucking ridiculous that all of you thought that this was worth disrupting my sleep on a Sunday. On a Sunday. I've been living, the Lord's day. <laughs> living the Lord's in Do Not day. Disturb. My phone has been, as soon as I get off work, just click. Do you not have the, uh, like, favorites? I do, but I just... Fuck they, every, every, still... Everyone's on Do Not Disturb. <laughs> Wait, what are the favorites? So if you have your favorites, like, in your people who are in your favorite section, even if you're on Do Not Disturb, maybe it's some setting I turned on. I don't no, know. yeah, you can, like, but create like, groups. But, they can go, they push through it. So, like, <laughs> nah, like, dog, I got everything every, on default. On <laughs> I, I actually took a ton of people off my favorites because, like, I had a bunch of friends who were, like, still on the East Coast who were, like, there was a, a group text that just like, they only wanted to talk about stupid shit, but they only want to talk about stupid shit like first thing in the morning. Yeah. And like, it's fine. I'm down to it's talk about Dungeons and Dragons. Here, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm down to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. But if I like wake up because my phone's going off 12 times and all those texts are about Dungeons and Dragons, I'm going to be pissed at everyone involved. <laughs> you yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I usually let my phone die or I leave that shit in another room. I'm so irresponsible with phone shit. It's bad. And I, and I get like a new one. Always dead. Did you guys get the new one yet? Not the 14. I got the, update, I got the 13. But I have the new phone. I have the 13 Max or yeah, whatever the fuck I gotta it get is. The, I, I'm still on an 11. But I think my lady might be getting it today, actually. My shit's to really starting to creep. It's yeah. definitely... Mm. As soon as they announce that 14, oh, my stuff... Well, you know, the new update, too. This new, like, whatever the fuck update. I haven't downloaded like, it's, that shit. It's draining battery for I sure. I haven't downloaded noticeably. that shit at all. But as soon as they announce it, all of a sudden... You know, like, when your phone's on 1% and it starts, like, glitching and only showing you, like, half... My shit does that all the time now. Yeah. I don't fucking get it. I like had an iPhone like seven until like two, a year ago now, and so that was for a while. I was like, I couldn't update apps anymore and shit. It was like, oh weird. shit! I was like, I gotta change. They're like, get this fucking dinosaur out of your hand. And I went to the thing. They were like, hey, this thing's like been paid off. You've had upgrades available. Like, what the fuck? What I'm the really fuck sick of the notion though that I'm supposed to pay them a thousand dollars every three every, or four yeah. years. You know? Yeah, what yeah I mean? even less. Fucking almost now, less. Yeah, it feels yeah, like yeah. Now, now it's, it's like, supposed to be every year. They want yeah. you to do it every year, yeah. every other year. Yeah. Now you're like leasing a yeah. fucking thing. Well, that's you know that have you heard about the iPhone every year program? No. Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta, so it, that's like a five hundred dollar like membership fee that you basically pay to rent a phone from them every year. Like you're not renting it, you're paying it off. But as soon as you get the new one, the old one disappears. They start a new contract. Like so it's just like you pay five hundred, you, you give them back the phone, and then yeah. you start it again. Yeah, I could do that today. <laughs> if they have them, that's a pain in the ass too. Is fucking net trying to find a new one? Yeah. Oh, true. I didn't yeah, think about yeah. that. And I get, and I always get, and I just this is the first time I got the two sixty five, like the big. Gig. Yeah, yeah. And I now I'm like, ah, oh, this is perfect. I can save all the porn I want. <laughs> well, but also like it's because now they have terabyte ones, and I was yeah. I the like I don't know if it was the eleven or the one before it, but I remember I bought the terabyte. There's so much fucking storage. You don't need it at <laughs> all, bro. So like I, I saved dude. every video that I ever fucking shot, and I don't get hit. That Downloaded every app in the app you know store. I mean? Yeah, so yeah you watch fucking... the video once and shit. Yeah, yeah. it's like a three thousand dollar phone. So then, yeah, you pay fifteen hundred bucks and get a new one. Yeah, yeah. Like, fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. I'm mad at all corporate everything right now. Frank, if you had to choose between eating a fish fillet every time you got hungry or only eating once every three days to stay alive, which would you choose? Shit. So that means I'm hungry every... But you could eat whatever you wanted every three days. Like when you got your meal, it was whatever you wanted. Yeah, but I was like hungry every yeah, day. Yeah, if you were starving for three days until like you were like like pretty much almost, almost done and then you're able to eat. Can I ask a question on this or is it because it's... Yeah. His? Okay. Are you allowed to like super stuff <clears throat> on those on that day you eat? Because yeah, like, totally. I, I yeah, feel yeah, like for that you, meal you can go for it. Because if you force yourself to eat, you could probably get like a solid day and a half before you're hungry again. Yeah, that's true. And also, like I think over time you get used to it, so you'll be able to just be able to be like, yeah, I eat. I'll counter. Food. I'll counter with this: you haven't eaten for three days, so your stomach shrinks. So you're gonna try to eat and try to shove food in, but you're not gonna be able to eat that much. But that's what I mean about forcing it down. Because like, if you force it to expand, then like, I don't know. I, I'm not a scientist. <laughs> How good's the fillet of fish? It's is fresh How every time. Is it, is fresh. It, it's it, hot every time. You could so, not pay. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> so 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 it's every time it's good. Yeah. Am I tired of it? 
It's up to you. You eat the same thing every do every, I get meal. Meal. Do yeah, I every get time fries you get hungry. Also? You get as much as you want. Just just fillet fish. Just fillet of fishes. Yeah. Fuck. Can, can you chop the fillet fish up and like make it like a yeah, yeah, do fish. whatever you want with the fillet fish and its ingredients. Yeah. All right. I'll do fillet fish. <laughs> do I get soda? Like a, like a drink? Yeah, you can drink whatever. Oh, you want. that's a good yeah, question yeah. though. Are you can drink whatever you want, but no like protein weird shit. You can have like. Uh, a soda. So you can have, wait. You can drink soda all through the, yeah, all yeah, the other yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's like a. Chico. What if I'm like? Can I have a merlot with this fillet of fish? <laughs> yeah. But all you're right, saying you're fish. saying during the three days of starving, you could drink whatever you want. Yeah. Oh, except but, for like you know bro. like replacement shakes and shit like that. That's that's the way. No, no sufficient uh, calories from beverages. I don't. Just, I don't want to eat I'm one fillet, fillet of fish. fish. <laughs> I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hate fillet of fish? I don't really like fish to begin with. And like now, this, I want a fillet of fish. The thing that's fucked up is like I'm not anti McDonald's in any way. Are you getting I, money on the side from McDonald's? No man. <laughs> but fillet of fish do smack. <laughs> and then they're like, I'm loving it. And then, <laughs> no, I'll say this on on air. Um, I was always a fan of the McRib. Yeah. I think, no, I'm, I've, I, I have, think the McRib is. I have uh, a McRib T-shirt. <laughs> Yeah, dude, no, I'm into it. I said that on Clubhouse one time. People got so mad at me. What, like, that you like McRibs? That I, that I eat McRibs. I don't, I don't Wait, say what, I what, like what, McRibs, what? but like I, I, I'm I, not anti-McRibs. Who gets mad at the McRib? Do you know why the McRib exists? Because it's an excess of beef at a certain time of year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's whether if beef, tri- beef prices drop low enough, then like they bring back the McRib. So like... <laughs> It's not great quality food. <laughs> I understand why people are I mean, mad at it. But it's shaped like, like ribs. It's McDonald's. Okay, Who goes to McDonald's for it's great also, quality It's food. shaped like ribs that are boneless. Yeah, like, yes. That's <laughs> what I like the most. It's got the bone <laughs> in, the, in the thing. That it reminds me gross. of like cafeteria food. Like Literally, the, we had like the teriyaki dunkers as a kid. Yeah. That was it. It was a fucking... But also, I'm, I like... That's the, actually where I think I had my first McRib. I like the yeah. snack in school. Remember the, Mc, the snacker? The McSnacker? Or is that crunch wrap? Or the, the crunch snack wrap. Yeah, the snack wrap. Snack wrap, yeah. That's what, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, was right. that, those shits were delicious. Do you remember, so... All that is is they take a chicken tender, chop that shit up, and fucking throw I know. And lettuce it's, and whatever. And they, they can still make them. It's like that's an off-the-menu item now. Yeah. Yeah. No, they don't do it. I'm sure. That you they, can ask. Uh, have you seen... Because they only do a McGangbang. You probably got to go like right at 11 or some shit. I'll find a fucking place. But they'll make a fucking McGangbang if you ask the right people. Yeah, they do. It's pretty great. Have some of them are some are mortified to hear about it, yeah. but like they'll make it for you if yeah. you ask them. I remember the first time I sh- uh, there was the time where I was my fattest, where I was eating like McGangbangs. For I remember Hannah had to say something to me because at first it was like a funny joke, and like <laughs> and they just become so good. <laughs> and the first two times it's like ha 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 ha, yeah. And then uh, the third, fourth, and then tenth time it's like so. There's something in hey, McDonald's you can't keep doing this. There's something in McDonald's because you get way too addicted to a McGangbang like way too quickly. Like yeah. there is literal like you get cravings for it like yeah. two or three days after. Well, it's you know, a combination you know be, of flavors, dog. You know yeah, exactly. The, the chicken <laughs> and beef. You know it'd be great right now uh, a beef patty with ketchup mayo and then. A chicken patty with mayo and lettuce. <laughs> I get it without all that extra. No oh no, I need yeah, all you that. You gotta shit. go uh, spicy McChicken, add cheese. Oh yep. yeah, dude. Let's get bacon. And, bacon. Game and bacon. And bacon. Come but on. it's just like no lettuce either. Honestly, it's yeah, just kind nah, of just wet nah. shit. Exactly. I like wet shit. God, we're gross. Um, you know what? Actually, in the sense we're on the on the fast food uh, meal train, uh, you guys remember the XXL Steakhouse from fucking Burger King? That sandwich that had mashed potatoes so. on it. No, what? I don't, bro. This is the grace. And I was like, I want to say it was yeah, seventeen. The I'm, promotional uh, food items for certain fast food places that only exist for a little while. The nineties and like the two thousands, I think, were the craziest. So this is I was I was I think it was the year I graduated high school because I'm pretty sure I was working the pool cleaning job at the time. But I went there like at least two or three times a week because they put fucking mashed potatoes, crunchy onions and bacon on this fucking burger, then throw a one sauce on it. It was like the most amazing amalgamation of flavors that I never thought about. And I'll fuck up a Whopper, bro. Yeah. I, love, I love Burger King. Burgers. McDonald's had it was for the Hercules uh, movie uh, premiere or whatever the fuck they had this kind of there. They did a different version of a Big Mac where instead of think it was like the regular patties, I feel like it might have been like the double quarter pounder patties or whatever, but it was like, it was a fucking big, like Her- Herculean burger. <laughs> and it was, I ordered that shit. Like I remember being like nine and I was just murdering. them. like, do you remember your of- first Big Mac? No, 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 no I, way. I do. It's fucked up. I do. But I do I remember, sure. I remember <laughs> the first time I got like those Batman glasses yeah, at fucking yeah, McDonald's, them. bro. Yeah, I still has them. I miss those bitches. Yeah. I would, I would go in there easily right now and pay eight ninety nine or whatever the fuck oh, it was absolutely. for one of those. Like, this is the movie that's coming out of the year. Get this cool frosted glass. I couldn't say uh, burger. I'd say booger. 
And uh, the the <laughs> everyone laughs. The cashier, the cashier, ridiculous. the cashier people would die laughing every time, and I'd be like, "It's not funny. I just want a burger, or a booger," and then everyone would like laugh even harder. And I think that's where my anxiety started. <laughs> just a kid that wants a burger. We can't say. We start sweating every time we order food. <laughs> I want a, uh, Were ours a problem for you, like across speech, or was it just in burger? I think it was Justin Burger. Justin Burger. Okay. I didn't really then have... I would laugh at you. <laughs> if, you had, if you had like if you had a lisp or a speech impediment and you couldn't like whatever, like then you're laughing at somebody's disability. But like that's One just word? laughing at you being stupid about Hilarious. something. Like that's cute. That's oh, yeah, yeah. that's you'll get over that. That's you know what so I mean? Funny. That's so funny. Yeah, my dad, yeah, well, they teased the shit out of us when we were growing up. Oh, good old fast food dog. Can I have a Q tip? Yeah, Carl's Jr. I think always uh, when you start going on the road and you start seeing different like fast food places that you were, didn't grow up with. Like I remember the first time I had Whataburger or Whataburger. Man, that is like anytime I go, I know when I've crossed into that territory. I'm like, I gotta get this. Well, you guys yeah. grew up with Sonic. I think right? the close ones like Arizona. Sonic's good, but yeah, so there weren't really any in the Bay. Well, but like here's the thing. To... You remember A and I, I was in New York, okay, and we grew up. We had Sonic commercials everywhere because it was cheaper for them to buy national ads than local ads. But there were no fucking Dude, Sonics why, that's where exactly I lived. Why we got them? So Whoa. we would see all these fucking commercials and be like, look at these kids on skates and with these fucking the cool ice and with the fucking whatever. And we can't have none of that shit. What the fuck is going on out there, bro? And like, I, I was. This is an American. I would be pissed off. Like I remember, I'd go I bet to you checkers had and be like, asking, "This is not the same." Thing. Asking for Sonics in their area, I guarantee. Almost guarantee I'm sure. It. I'm sure that's well, what like it, it was. was probably too. Like a huge play. It, yeah, it's probably some sort of like, okay, this is it, like whoever calls in the most, then we'll know that's the next place. Because yeah, bro, every time she came, she came on, you're like, "Fuck, Tater Tots and all." Although I'll be honest, I don't think that I ever called anyone about being pissed about yeah. Sonic. <laughs> Me and my friends bitched about it, but I don't think we went online. We're like, "Oh, Sonic, why aren't you here yet?" You know, actually, at that point. I don't know that there was even, we didn't have Twitter like that. You know, maybe on MySpace, we were like, fucking, I wish it was Sonic. Shit, yeah. But on there was the one top like, eight uh, when I was in college, one pretty close to the college, and that was like our, our go to. It'd be like 3 a.m., and like we'd be in bed already. In my roommate, and I'd be like, mm, Sonic you want to go Sonic Dog? <laughs> I mean, did have a Golden Corral in college, just because it was such a funny. You ever been to Golden Corral? Uh-uh. Oh, I man. have. Golden Corral, and like, it's like a. What's that other spot? Cracker Brow. You ever been to Cracker Brow? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, oh man, you miss out. The only spot I've been to like that is like uh, it's like a country uh, buffet, tech, Roadhouse Road, Texas Barbecue, or okay. one of those types. Like kind of. This places. is like a little bit more older demographic. Um, like like <laughs> like you ever been? You to, know. You ever been to a buffet <laughs> in Vegas? Yeah. Okay, so it's like that, but like a much smaller place, and like all with like you know, obviously there's a lot of out of towners when you go to the <laughs> Vegas buffet. And they don't like, like my kind. All of the older ones. The kind of spot where like you don't know if you should uh, you should eat the stuff because you see people like might be uh, going in with their hands first. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's also Ew. the food was. Oh man! Especially I guess the closest that I've been to is like hometown buffet. Well, the reason why in college it mattered is because it was so fucking cheap. Yeah. So like we can go there and spend twenty dollars and eat like a fucking king. And same, same reason I bring up Cracker Barrel. You can get like one of everything on the menu for twenty bucks a Cracker Barrel. You know? Can I see the uh, little stabber? I like your pencil. This is cool. Thank you. I lost my hot knife. Uh oh. I keep doing that. Good thing they just dropped three new colors. Hey! <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> the gold one's sick. It's like a mustard yellow. It looks really good. Oh, it's probably it. shinier in person, but it looks Speaking really good. Speaking mustard. Uh, what about it? I had a corn dog the other day. It was great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> any excuse to bring up the corn dog? That's a plug, baby. Pick up your mustard uh, yellow hot knife. Uh, <laughs> I will say, I've been so craving- good at your job, Frank. I've been craving a, uh, what's it called? A Korean corn dog since fucking Glazer posted about it. Oh, yeah. Day. Have you had a Korean corn dog? Yeah, it's like a rice f- like uh, p- flour on the outside, right? And then and then uh, they put, potatoes. They put cheese on the inside, too. Yeah. Yeah, the, the potatoes, the crispy outside, potato, yeah. like fucking cubes on the outside. I don't yeah. even know. I don't understand why the potato cubes, we don't see it in like stores like we see chips. Yeah. Like, I feel like I would eat potato cubes all the time. What? Where did, where did we go? Archie's? Richie's? Archie's. Oh, Archie's, yeah. Archie's no, no hope. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a friend of ours uh, runs it apparently. Uh, it's fucking sick. Yeah, we pulled up at like, like we were looking for like the only place open on a Thursday night at like after one a.m. and I was like, I think Archie's is open, and it's right around the corner from my house too. I've only seen it on fucking influencers Instagrams. It's like <laughs> the only thing I know about it is like hey man, cool. I paid ten dollars for a bag of candy and it was real good. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> is that what that charge was late at night? I was wondering why eighty dollars was. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I did get wrap snacks, dude. I got wrap snacks. Yeah. I got fucking. You have the fucking uh, the 
the jalapeno uh, honey biggie ones? No. No, it was the um, the, the little yaddy, like the cheese puffs. The oh, hot ones are really good, I too. Got those Their ones? hot fries, his yeah, hot fries yeah. are really good, except yeah. they stopped making them fries. Now they're just like puffs. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the ones. I don't know yeah. why. The hot fries used to be smacking. Yep. I still, actually, uh, what's it? Uh, Andy Caps. Those fucking, uh, the bags of hot fries from when we were kids. Mm-hmm. I, still, I still eat those every once in a while. Going to a grocery store, stone as fuck, and be like, oh, yeah, that's, that's how I'm going to fuck my day up. The, uh, what's it called? Um, flaming Hot stuff. Mm-hmm. Good. Don't get me wrong. I like Flaming Hot. But Andy Caps, that shit is, and I'm not just partial because of the last name. That shit is money. Close to the heart. Money, 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 money. Money. This right. one, What's uh, the one is some THC bomb grown by the homies over at Humboldt Kine. Word. Um, and those, uh, this one's actually, it's quite a, quite a trip. So THC bombs, like kind of a legacy story. And every time you look it up, they're not really, people don't really say where it came from. Um, it's normally super reminiscent to me flavor wise of like a Girl Scout cookies, kind of gassy, very chlorophyll Uh, this one, all berry, almost grapey, very grapey, with just a little, little bit of maybe some chlorophyll, like green on the back. Um, but it's really all like grape and almost creamy as well. But like when you think THC bomb, I normally don't think as much flavor as that. It's, it's stellar. You know, it's funny. I was smelling the grape exhale off of Frank before I even before got you went for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's incredible. No, I was, I was blown away um, with the quality of it. One of my very first memories with THC bomb Green, was, was like, that's, it's it's it. Fuck, yeah. That's, yeah, bro. You're, you are from <laughs> Somalia with this shit. Thanks, Doc. You're from Somalia. Anyways. Uh. I am the captain now. <laughs> uh, one of the first times I ever smoked THC bomb was, uh, it was flour. Um, and I had a very, like, I guess the only way to put it is almost like psychedelic experience, but not like that I was tripping, but uh, my light sensitivity was noticeably different where like I would look out and like things were brighter than they were before. Um, and I was sitting passenger seat in a car and we were driving just like down the coast and just looking out under the waves and everything was just so bright and like watching the waves meet the, like meet the sky and everything was like more beautiful than I had noticed. And it was like very weird. It was a very psychedelic experience off, off flowers. Yeah, like a, the first time I ever had that. It's funny that you say it's psychedelic experience. That, the first thing that you th- I thought of when you were saying that is like, Oh, that's why I microdose. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, it was just a trip that like as a sales point for weed is like something that I haven't heard before. And I, Really, that would make me buy something like, oh, it's gonna make everything brighter. Yeah, yeah. Those no, were, great. and then then you're stoned to shit and you pass out. But it, it's got a nice, uh, <laughs> a nice up. Let's <laughs> come up. Whew. I feel so sophisticated with this thing. Yeah, the proxy rips. It's sick. It There's some like, super cool glass being made too for it. Yeah, I'm excited for Puff Garden. You going? Of course, I'm going. That's oh, nice. I love fucking uh, the Puff Code Cut team. I love fucking the Talking Terps team. I love everyone that's gonna be on there a lot. Fucking Sacred Fruits is gonna be there. Um, Trike Delic's gonna be there. All my hats are dead are gonna be there. Michael's I, coming down. Yeah, these are I'm all. Excited. It's like actually, it's like, it feels like a family reunion. For oh, it's fucking, gonna be sick. Uh, yeah, and it's like the pre Hall of Flowers like reunion too, which is kind of funny. Yeah, we're well, so, gonna see everyone else the next week. Are you going up for any of the other events? Uh, so I'm probably driving up Tuesday. So I think I'm gonna miss like anything Tuesday night. Um, but I mean, whatever else happens, I'll probably. Go. I think I'm gonna go check out a bunch of farms that weekend. True. Yeah. Honestly, I think I, try to schedule as much as I can. You driving up and then driving back. Mm-hmm. Right. Driving up Wednesday. Uh, or Tuesday, like going with Wednesday, Thursday, and then probably going like up into Humboldt Friday, Saturday, coming back Sunday. So I have to be back in New York on Friday for a dinner thing. Um, so I am literally going, I'm at, right after PuffCon, I'm going up to uh, the Bay. Jimmy's doing something a Monday night with Chronic Culture. Tuesday night, Surefire's got something going on. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Hall Flowers. But then Thursday, like I don't even, I'm not even staying to the end of Hall Flowers. I'm driving right down, back down to Oakland. Uh, so that I could get to fly to New York first thing the next morning. Yeah. So honestly, I'm dreading the whole experience <laughs> because it's just that's what it always like comes down to. It feels like, especially the one up there is like, fuck, there's a lot of traveling involved. It's, it's like, especially tra- once you get up there and go like farm to farm, it's like, oh, these are an hour and a half apart from each other. <laughs> well, and you're also tired. <laughs> exactly. Right. exactly. Smoking exactly. all day. Yeah. Like, smoking all day and walking or all like through all the fucking fields with these guys. And like, don't get me wrong, there's so many, like, you probably get this too, but. When you get up there and like somebody sees that you're there, if you didn't hit up everybody that you were supposed to, like somebody's gonna be pissed that like you didn't tell them. Like that's also why like I uh, go up around Hall Flowers and stuff like that. It's like okay, you know it was Hall Flowers. Yes. You know what I, I mean? There's like, a lot of other stuff going on. Like, exactly. It was clearly busy. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah, but like if you like you know if you're if you're trying to do something or you wanna you got an event going on or whatever, like you know to hit people up around Hall Flowers. Like I'm not gonna remember to hit up every farmer yeah. every time I go up north. You know what I mean? Yeah. But. Don't get me wrong. I want to see all their weed. So I'm like, you know, 
I, I want to hang out. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. my memory's just not good. <laughs> you know I mean? stuff. That's how it was when I went up to, for Sacramento. Uh, or got to hang out with Ted. He showed me everywhere and uh, all the facilities, and I got to smoke weed. But that was the thing. It was like I was like, oh, it could. It was like if it, it could easily just be like this all well, the time. Sac mm-hmm. really is a city of trees, too, bro. Yeah, like yeah. there's like, I mean, so many people have hubs up there, mm-hmm. and like. Even I went up to see uh, Jerks and Yellow Brick Group, mm-hmm. and do, I'm doing working on a story about them. Um, they were great. They did their uh, little festival they had. Oh yeah. Oh, you were there for Night Market. Oh, sick. I, it was fucking sick. Yeah, I really want to go for that. I actually spent two hundred dollars on records. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> I almost went up. They get uh, framed this weekend so I could be at his fucking emo boy night in uh, in Bottle and Barlow, um, but maybe next week. When that's tonight. That's tonight. It's, He's a road trip, dog. Right. You know, go do a, pop, a fucking pop punk emo uh, time in Sacramento. Um, we'll be there by 8 p.m., dog. Really? Can we get there that quickly? Yeah, that's six hours. Or we could fly and be there, yeah. too. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I do have credits on my Delta card. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why I thought you were coming to Hall of Flowers. You had credits, bro. Yeah, yeah. I was, uh, what was it? I think that was. Oh, it's be- Disneyland. It's Disneyland. Yeah, it's Disneyland. Yeah, it's Disneyland. Let's yeah. See, yeah it kind of overrides. See, he was, he was about to give us a different he, excuse. I don't know if you, <laughs> if you caught that. No, no, no. He, was, he had forgotten that he had a wedding or something. Didn't like even that. have a sister. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's not my sister. No, she is. She's my sister. I love you. Um, PuffCon, they're going to give me a, a little green room. Oh, so, sick. Yeah. We'll come hang out and yeah, chill. Yeah, smoke that yeah. shit out. Yeah, it's gonna be the worst decision of their life. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, isn't it like they work in that building, don't mm-hmm. they? So it's, are they just giving you a piece of their office? Like mm-hmm. they'll probably have something down on the floor. Do you uh, ever seen the movie Grandma's Boy? Yeah, yeah. So that movie, the uh, they work like their like game studio is the Puffcon building. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. That's I just noticed awesome. the other day I watched it. I was like, holy shit, I've smoked weed there. So they, they shoot that a lot of awesome. films at that spot. And it was so funny. I remember the first time I had to go there, I, t- I tell this story all the time. Uh, I was getting off the elevator and I get off the elevator and the hallway is full of police officers. Like at least 60 to 80 police officers. Actors? I didn't know. <laughs> and I guess they were shooting like a police drama thing like in the next room. But me, I'm high as shit. I was like, oh, fuck. I was like, hello, officers. Hey, hey. Like, I literally was like, you know, thank Don't you. look at me. The yeah. best part is calling them officers are probably like, hey. 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 This, he doesn't know he's in Hollywood. Hey. And so I get into the office and they tell me and I was like, oh, okay. Oh, fuck. It literally was just like, hello. Hey, yeah, I'm just doing this thing. Like, I was just giving them, like, telling them. Yeah, bro. I'm definitely was, not here to smoke weed, guys. There's something I think it might have been Roger or someone from Puffco posted the other day where they posted a photo, like, out the window. And it was, like, hum, like the SUVs and, like, everything. Like, it looked like a raid almost. And they like, posted it. And I they, saw that, They too. had to, like, post it and say, like, no, we're not getting raided. Like, it's a film set. <laughs> like, <laughs> so funny. Yeah, I can imagine, like, the fear alone. Just, like, the elevator's opening and just all these cops staring at you. Just... Oh, yeah. shit. Uh, yeah, how was... Oh, yeah, dude, it was tough. Uh, how much time do we have? Uh, 18 minutes. Oh, perfect. Let's uh, let's get into this last round. I'll pack it, and then we'll fucking... Do we ask any questions? No, nah, we've make... just been talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, we're like, nice. this whole like round Boy, thing is, is a suggestion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I just want to throw one to you right now. Which uh, TV mom you think cooks the best meal? Which TV mom cooks the best meal? Damn, that's yeah. a fucking good question. I want to say the Jetsons because it's the future, so they could just put fucking, you know. A so is she really cooking cube, it? Yeah, she really cooking I it. I mean, though. actually, you're right. The robot's probably really cooking yeah. it. That's probably what it is. Um, I don't know, bro. Give me some TV mom. Bro, I'll throw Carmela Soprano up against anybody. Oh, Ooh. that's the answer. Yeah, bro. And she that's cook, the she's also cooking with that, like, I've been cheated on hate. Yeah. Well, it's just, it's, it, the, it, it, uh, Italian mom was the answer. Was I, the, just <laughs> I just didn't like, know oh, the selection of Italian moms <laughs> to work off of. <laughs> yeah. I'll put some multiple choice in there. It's kind of hard to You know pull who makes the best the Jewish food? Dexter's mom. You know who makes the best Jewish food? Mm. Italians. That's why there's so many pizza bagels. Can't pizza, help. Ba- pizza bagels can't are help fucking good, bro. Pizza bagels are great. What are we eating after this? Yeah, we're yeah. I'm actually pretty hungry. Where do you wanna? Where do you wanna go? So definitely somewhere around here. Yeah. Um, Smorgasburg. <laughs> you guys I mean, are so anti. I mean, it is 90 degrees outside, John. <laughs> it is 90 degrees. That's what I said earlier. I think that something lied to you. <laughs> I got, I got the, I got, I got the wife at home and Uncrustables. No, uh, <laughs> Uncrustables. 
I do. I've been murdering these Uncrustables. I love Uncrustables, bro. It's just like when you're talking about real f- food versus like the thing you take out of the freezer for a half hour before you, know you eat. People were talking about how I eat them frozen. freezing. Yeah, yeah. I, they taste so weird frozen. No, they don't. They taste weird. Tastes fucking great. Wait, it tastes like frozen. You don't eat them. You don't freeze them. I mean, I put them in the freezer and then I let them thaw. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, yeah, I eat them frozen. People, there's people you eat, out there them, who straight eat them straight frozen. Yeah. And it's like that's weird. I mean, that's You're a little weird, weird, but like bro. also, it might not be bad. It might be like a fucking. It's, it tastes <laughs> like it just tastes like frozen. Uh, I like them I'll thawed be honest, and soft. I like maybe it. your freezer has an imbalance and it's freeze burning. <laughs> I will be honest. My favorite <laughs> is when this like the, the jelly is still a little bit frozen. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's nice and like really cold. Yeah. But like. I, st- I want the peanut butter to be a little bit creamy. I don't want to have yeah. to bite to the peanut butter. Can I have your uh, the pencil? Have you taken any dabs? Yeah. In the, in the beginning. Oh, okay. Uh, what? Uh, what yeah. So, hand me and Hannah got a Costco membership. Yeah, big time moves. Frank's doing well, and so we. Uh, <laughs> Hannah's doing well. Yeah, Hannah's doing better, dog. Frank's doing well. Hannah's doing better. <laughs> uh, what was anyway, that? Was the uh, what's it called? Who bought the Costco membership? Uh, we both did. <laughs> Do you guys? You have shared accounts? Do we have shared Maybe? accounts? Like bank account? No, I mean I think we split it. We usually just split shit. Word. Or we go back and forth on paying for things. Oh, shit. I just, you know, I've never been married, so I'm just curious how it works. If, like, on the day you do we have a sign, shared account? Sign up that it's like, do I want to spend all of our money? No, <laughs> that's I'm financially well, responsible. That's what I was getting at was like, do you, are you, do you have access <laughs> you to have this access fucking to bank that. account? <laughs> I have access to a bank account. <laughs> <laughs> it is my bank account. <laughs> And I give my wife money periodically just in case I do some Frank shit. You know what I mean? Where I'm just like, here, ah! he just, this is for. You're not supposed to stop when you're dating, bro. <laughs> this is just for fucking whenever, dog. And in case, you know what I mean? I, and then you know, and then she's like, all right, man. And this is because it used to be like back when it was like when I was making a lot more money than her. Like, you know, we, you know, whatever, like I'd pay more, she'd pay more, whatever the fuck. You know, and then um, she started making way more money than me. And then I remember one day, like, I, you know, because we'd give her money. I'd give her money for rent, my half for rent. And I remember one day we were. Uh, she was like, that's OK, honey. No, no, no. We're, we're eating dinner. Right. And uh, she goes to pay for dinner and uh, she, she, she opens her account. wallet and it's all the cash I've been giving her. <laughs> she doesn't have to spend it. And I was just like, whoa, you got to I was like, Do you pay rent. Like, that's like two months of. Of my money I've been giving you. And she goes, yeah, I got to deposit it. And I was like, what do you mean? She was like, oh, I'm just paying with what I've been making. And I was like, is my rent and bill money your walking around money? She was like, yeah. And I was like, ew. So (laughs) don't tell me how much money we're making. I'll be honest. (laughs) When I had lived with roommates, it was kind of like that for me. Not not, not because our rent wasn't so much that I couldn't afford it with what I made from my check. So like, it wasn't like I was Mr. Moneybags. It was just that like, I wasn't going to the ATM because like these guys have to give me cash every month. You know what I mean? So like, she gets to play banker of the household. That's like, it's kind of like a fun, you're playing Monopoly all the time. It's (laughs) great too because, you know, I was raised by such a financially irresponsible father. And I was also raised by uh, That's why I'm asking if you have the same like bank a, account, you know? Uh, yeah, I feel like a financially responsible mother uh, and uh, who just didn't, I mean, I just don't think anyone in our family taught anyone how to save, you know what I mean? And uh, so paycheck to paycheck was just a huge thing in my life for a long time. So now with Hannah. You're not paycheck to paycheck now? No, this is the first time where it's like, we are not paycheck to paycheck. Like, and we're, No, 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 I, I'm talking about like your own, like you, you actually saving money. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We put, I, I mean, I give her money and we put it away to save together, but yeah. Fuck yeah, bro. Yeah, it's, it's nice. You're like, just just doing that, like yeah, saving, yeah. you're like already half, like yeah, ahead of I'm like 90% of the population. Paying bills off is pretty, yeah. Well, I mean, like just paying bills, you got to do because eventually they'll yeah, come yeah. for no, you. No, 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 let me tell you. But like actually You don't have for, to pay bills. <laughs> <laughs> you can just let them go <laughs> and worry about it later. <laughs> That'll come back to bite you in the ass if you need any credit. But the reason why, the reason why I'm saying that is because like most of Americans, like, aren't saving yeah like mo- most people still live paycheck paycheck and mm-hmm. like i i have savings in terms of like investments and stuff like that like stocks and, and yeah, crypto yeah. not that i consider that fucking safe investment um 
but like I, for the most part, like most of my, like I don't save cash. Oh no, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, when I was like serving and busing, it was obviously a lot more money when, cause it's like cash and tips and shit. That money was insane, especially when you're selling booze, the door guy. Um, but yeah, like, that was crazy, you know? And, but now to be able to like make money from like stand up and shit, it's a much better feeling. I mean, don't get me wrong. If, if I get like three OR spots in a week uh, or two weeks, if I, that'll throw some shit around. But also like getting different gigs in I'm, cannabis is sick. I'm just proud that like, you know, people don't think very highly of us entertainers. Bro. Oh, no, no, they no. Don't no. Think, yeah, yeah. You know, they, they, <laughs> we're financially literate. We are fucking putting our, our money where our mouth is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, but it is uh, it definitely now is the funny, funnest, scariest time, I guess. <laughs> To be like, it's all, it's all on us, right? Like it's because well, now you got shit to lose, right? Like, I don't know if I get shit to lose. Well, but you got expenses. Like if your car fucks up, someone's got to fix that car. Of course. You know what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. That was kind of like, I, that was why I first started being like, okay, I need to like, you know, have something that if God forbid something happens, I can't just be like, oh fuck. Well now I need to make an extra $500 this month. Yeah, I gotta yeah, figure yeah. out how to fix my car. I mean, I, I was like that for like a very, very long time. God forbid anything happens to my wife. I will be sleeping on JP's couch. <laughs> <laughs> I will be showing up with my puff co on a pillow. <laughs> and, and all three, three cats. cats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they were like life insurance policy. And it was like, yeah, she had one out on you, but not on her. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, she had a really big one out on you. <laughs> it's like $10 million. Oh, no. man. Oh, Ugh. man. But that's actually, yeah, ins like insurance and all that shit. I remember when I was trying to figure, like, go through getting my own, like, auto insurance and getting my, when I turned 26 and being like, I don't consider myself a dumb person. You no. know what I mean? But, like, I feel like a lot of these processes are set up to fuck us. I was oh. actually, I was having this conversation with my Uber driver actually on the way over here. Like, why is it that like living in America, like we have to reinvest in everything at every year or two? Like nothing is ever like, you know, you don't get to just actually own something forever. Like that's why I feel like people in other countries are happier because like they like actually like shit lasts longer. You know what I mean? Like we, they don't feel like they need to constantly get the new one. Like actually before you were talking about the, the shoes, right? Like I fucking love these shoes. I've had these shoes for like five years. But like, I'm still feel like, oh, there's a new Yeezy pair that drops. There's a new like whatever. Like, I'm fucking over it, bro. The only thing I care about, like, what's the new shit with anymore is like, what's the new weed? Like, where's the what? Who's creating the best shit? And I wish that like I can go and live on a fucking island with like just a bunch of fucking weed guys, and like that's all we could do. That would be so fucking great. That'd be so great. Now I'm just thinking about like, what's it? What was that movie with uh fucking Jane, the the guy from fucking Twilight and uh. William Defoe, the watch lighthouse, the lighthouse. Now I'm just thinking about you in the lighthouse with a bunch of weed stoner dudes. What's the lighthouse? It's a black and white movie about these two dudes getting fucked up in the lighthouse. They uh, like shot it in like uh, with an old camera and everything. Like they went and, like got an old aspect ratio and all this shit. Yeah, because William Defoe. It's is like not them. I'm pretty sure it's it's William Defoe and him. I think they're like slowly losing their minds. Yeah, and they're just like being in a lighthouse. Up. Yeah. I, don't, I haven't seen. I've only seen like small clips. And stuff. So I definitely want to see that movie, and I got we got to remind me to write that down. Have you guys read House of Leaves? Uh -uh. I've, is that the one with like the crazy book? Yeah, yeah. So it's where, so basically this chick, this guy is like reading the letters from his mother who's, who went crazy after she died. And like, he's like cleaning up her shit and he goes crazy in the process. But like the book is like this experience because like they start writing backwards on the pages. And like, if you flip the page around, it's right side on there and it's like upside down and like starts like, you know, whatever. The book is meant to show you and simulate how crazy the guy's going. It's fucking wild. And that, that's actually, you know, it's funny that you say that because that's that's where weirdos comes from. The, mm. the idea for weirdos was I found we a guy wrote a piece for us about being schizophrenic. And like it's kind of like his explaining his descent into madness. And there's something like really like magical about that, and like just like twisting pers like what someone assumes the perspective to be into something that's like completely unexpected. Mm. And. I don't know. I'm super fascinated by that. So the lighthouse seems like something like the house of leaves fucking I yeah. fell all the way in love with, but lighthouse sounds fucking awesome. Did we do the flavor profile for this? No. All right, let's do this. <laughs> I'm so fucking high right now. Dog. This is going to be a strawberry guava from a uh, homies over at farmer and the felon. It's actually uh, quite Thank wonderful. It's going to be a uh, strawberry banana with a cross with guava. Um, the, uh, you're going to get mostly strawberry banana on that already. one. 
mostly strawberry banana, the sweet strawberry, um, with just kind of that like banana OG with like almost a little bit of chalkiness from that. Um, so the flavor is like I said, all strawberry banana. There's maybe a little bit of like kind of funky fruit on the end. Um, but the effect is really taken over by that, uh, by that guava. Uh, guava is made up of mango and Afghan one, uh, mango is an Afghan cross as well. Um, so it really has that kind of super physically relaxing. You'll feel your face muscles kind of retract a little bit. Um, super spacey, like 15 minutes in. Um, and I would argue relatively sedative for sure. Yeah, bro. I was just talking about being on a fucking Island. Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah, super sweet because it has more of those, really like, like I said, sweet strawberry terps as opposed to like your berries and your grapes. Um, it's that kind of sweeter um, berry um, and then just a little bit of banana in there. And banana OG has this like, instead of being like creamier, it's almost like chalkier, I would say, um, kind of mouthfeel and taste. You know, it's interesting. I almost get a little tartness. Yeah, I wonder how much is that, is that like kind of like that, that funkiness from the mango? Oh, that's true. I was thinking because of the sweetness, it was like, like remind me of like a sour cherry. I can feel it in my eyes. <laughs> I was telling him the, these past few days has just been like, especially all the cool stuff I've been gifted and picked up. Um, it's just been like waking up at fucking like nine, just doing dabs all day, then a hardcore nap, and then you know spots, and I, then sleep. I wish I had more time for naps, bro. That's Dude. like that's what I miss the most. It took about a being five cute. hour one yesterday, bro. Me too. It was three hours. It was a problem. It must be. I fell asleep at eight thirty last night, so it was pretty. Uh, it's hard for me to say that I'm not <laughs> sleeping in your enough, sleep, yeah. But uh, uh, and also uh, these lights definitely feel brighter now yeah. uh, than you were saying before. So I definitely I don't take dabs enough, but. Um, if, yeah. I, if I was at this level, I think that I'd probably be fucking napping all the time, too. So oh, yeah. Dude. <laughs> well, Frank got so these charts were all full on Thursday. Shh. And so I just took a look at him. I was like, Jesus Christ, bro. How much you He's like, I was smoking a lot of friends out. I was like, OK. I'll be <laughs> honest. The problem with dabs for me is that, like, I'm so used to consuming, like, a joint or something like that. Like, I don't want a one, two hit experience. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so I, I just keep reloading and keep reloading it. And then all of a sudden, I'm at a place where, like, I, I'm completely fucking useless. Yeah. And also, <laughs> you know? too, like, with the Puffco, it's, like, kind of want to get a few hits out of it. So you're not, like, just, like, running through rosin. So I'll, like, smoke it for a bit. Like, maybe three or four reheats. But even then, then it starts to lose flavor. I'll do, like, two or three, two reheats. Yeah, I usually do two reheats. But um, still... I, I used to think that like I was supposed to burn it all off, and yeah. I was like, "Why isn't this? Why is it still here? Yeah, why yeah. is it still here? You know, it's getting darker and darker. Exactly. But uh, yeah, you know, eventually, eventually, you realize you can't, that you shouldn't be smoking this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you know? There's still stuff in there, but it's not. It's not. I think Frank's very much like with like rosin as it with like I am with flour, where it's like. I'll leave three quarters of a joint if it's not tasting good or not. Like if it's, I feel it's passing. Nah, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely a few jars I have at home where I'm like, Hannah's just hey, like, touching not, that again. She's like, you're not going to hit that. I'm like, nah, yeah, and she, she's though. called me a prude to my face. Nah. That's something to just go straight into the trash can after the first couple hits. It's funny, but like how being a weed snob is like looked down upon, but like, at the same time, like, I feel like consuming what or like being choosy about what you decide to consume is like, a thank you, um, <laughs> is what everyone does with like eating. Right? Then, yeah, like, I was like, literally going to compare it to food. Everyone's so, like, oh, oh God, it's not organic. It's not gluten free. It's not whatever. But like, why would you why would you treat what you're smoking? What's going into your lungs any different? You know, shout out Masonics. Uh, is this your mom's? What? I've never I've never actually tried this. Oh, that is uh yeah, I think so. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. It's great. Uh, how much time do we have? Uh, just a couple minutes. Perfect. Let's do some plugs. Anything you want to plug before we get out of here? Nah. I'll be Hall Flowers. So if this gets out before that and you see me up there, come say yeah, hi. Yeah, take a picture with him. Smoke Make him film joint. something. Yeah. Tell him how much you love his breakdowns. Bro, this is funky. The yeah, grape gas, the Masonic's head stash one. Yeah, the yeah. the best things is so on the bottom. Good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's one that's Honey Bee. That's that's like the one for me. Oh, so so good. Uh, this is like this is like yeah. feet, bro. This thing is like compound. The grape gas. Uh, shout out Farmer and the Felon. Shout out Absolute Extracts, uh, Sumo Snacks, uh, Puffco Punch Extracts, uh, Third Wheel Studios. Am I forgetting anyone else? Hi Fi Hops. Uh, thank you, John. Anything you want to plug before we go? Yeah, read High Times. Yeah, that'd be cool. We appreciate you. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for having me. It's fun to be here. I'm so stoned. I don't even I, like I feel like I just said 
babbled bullshit this Hilarious. whole time. So well, that's kind of what the podcast yeah. is. It's pretty great. You know, we break it down and smoke it up. No, I, that was the worst. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you want to hit one more? Hit us with one more question before we get out of here. JP's yeah. reaction. I love it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a simple one. Which uh, ninja, ninja Turtle do you think rolls the best blunt? Ooh. Oh, Michelangelo? Is that the... No, no. Who's got the stick? Who's Staff. the... Who's the... Who's the, stone, who's the stoner one? All of them, I'd argue. No, the who's one... Who's the stoner <laughs> one? The size? It's a cartoon yeah. for kids. I'm not sure. It's, Leonardo, know, it's not Leonardo. It's not Michelangelo. Donatello. Right? The orange one. <laughs> the one who's always freaking out about pizza? Yeah. That's Michelangelo. That's Michelangelo? It's Michelangelo. Rolls the best blunt? Yeah. Come on, dog. I, so I think Donatello, who had the staff, I believe. I think he was the purple one, I think, had the staff. Um, he probably rolls the best because he's used to fucking sh- 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 yeah. with that fucking stick. You know what I mean? Dude, uh, Fahim had one it's of the best. also like the most patient. Isn't yeah, it? Like the one always Actually, like, you know what? You know what the real answer is that fucking the the rat. rat. Yeah, rat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's who can roll the Master best. Joint. Splinter, dog. The OG yeah. holds it down. Yeah, he was rolling those fucking splinters. Oh, that was so <laughs> dumb. Sorry. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. That's our episode. Have fun. Hey. Midriff. <laughs> Midriff. <laughs>